Okay, we are going to take a look at a report from a uh, custom sim lab and look at what all those wiggly lines mean. And to do that, we click on Launch Sims. And now that you have run your simulation at least once, you have a little plus sign. And when you click that, you can see every attempt that you make. And I can see I had an attempt a little while ago. And this little icon here is how I see the report. This um, pencil is how I edit the attempt. Up here I would be editing the simulation. And I could also delete this attempt. And I could pick it back up where I left off if I wanted to do that. In this case, I'm going to take a look at the report. And it takes a moment to load the report. In fact, sometimes it takes several moments. Uh, there we have it. And so I, I still got to click the student, even though she's the only one. And when I click reports, you can see these crazy squiggly lines. And if we take a look here, we can make them a little less squiggly. That now we've cleared it out and we can take a look at what I did when I ran the simulation. Each one of these boxes is a task. If I, if I just let my mouse pointer rest there for a moment, I can see that this task was do a brief presentation from memory. I can see this was my level 2 task and this was my level 3 task and this was creative product. Also, the dashed lines stand or represent uh, the point at which I made some sort of comment or, or asked a question. And if I stop and put my pointer on the line here, I can see that this comment was get back to work now. This was great. I couldn't have explained it any better. I just sighed and walked away. And then I said, you're showing others how to behave. So this is how we can go back and take a look at what we did in the simulation. And remember, these uh, indicators over here represent the five factors plus uh, the academic performance of the student. And when we click the little buttons, they all disappear, uh, display on the screen. I'm going to take them off for a moment. Let's just take a look at the academic attribute and we can see that when I, she was doing nothing she was just kind of level she stayed where she started and then when she started doing the brief presentation from memory academically speaking she she really peaked and then when I uh, said something that might have been considered not very nice that really just started her on a decline and then her level two task Either she wasn't being adequately challenged or she was still bothered by what I said. I don't know, but she wasn't going up until I complimented her. And then we see an upward trend and she she increased on the level three task, even though if you'll remember, she put her head on her desk when I gave her the level three task. So I guess it wasn't too bad. Um, let's take a look at some of the other attributes. Remember openness uh, is supposed to be representative of your willingness to to learn new things, to to try thing to to try new things, and you can see here she plummeted, but she started back up and she was almost where she began. And conscientiousness uh, stayed at least it stayed above the mean. It didn't do didn't do too badly on it. Extroversion, oh, when I, uh, I really must have upset her. I mean, you, this sort of maybe illustrates a little bit about how what you say can really have an impact on a student. I didn't even say anything, I used, but I used some pretty negative body language. I sighed and walked away from her, and she, uh, that really seemed to bother her quite a lot. And agreeableness, hmm, even though academically speaking she did well on this first task, she didn't like it at all. 
She liked the second task better. She didn't seem, you know, she put her head on her desk, but she didn't really seem to react negatively to this task until, again, I um, made a uh, a negative remark in her direction, and then it, we can see where she fell. And, of course, not surprisingly, when we look at neuroticism, it... Uh, it went up just a little at that same point. So, you know, that's something to think about. And this is just one way that we can look at um, our SIM school reports. We also have some other information, such as the teaching time, the number of tasks, <clears throat> the students in the simulation, and so forth. Also tells us the tasks we did best with and where we had negative and positive effects from our conversations. We also have a summary that gives us average task times. It uh, breaks down the type of tasks. We see that we had a little of everything. Also, our conversation styles. And finally, um, down here at the bottom, this is a little misleading because I only have one student in the simulation, so gender and race is sort of skewed. Uh, but this is what you really want to pay attention to. And you might even want to go back and think about this again with modules you've run in the past. Take a look at the report. How did your teaching effectiveness do? Because you can see here that about seven minutes into the sim time class, I was doing pretty well. But then I uh, fell and I never really got much traction after that. So... Uh, I guess maybe I, apparently a student based on myself is a lot harder than I thought. Um, that's really all I have about the reports. Uh, I will be cre uh, creating one more really short video to show you how you can share your module because I want to see everyone's module for this assignment. I won't be able to see the reports that you get, but I want to be able to test your student out. And uh, But that's all I have here. Thanks.